the Holy Ghost cannot help you beyond your level of yieldedness to him. And you cannot yield to the Holy Spirit without an understanding uh, and developing a very good relationship with him. Okay, for instance, you must be constantly in communion with the Holy Spirit. You know, you know relationships always advance and, takes, and take a very strong measure or strong root when, when there is an effective communication. So, God has given us a help or a helpmate or what the Bible calls our paracletos in Greek, which, which, which simply means our help, our helper and our standby and our advocate, one that stands on us by us with us to assist us in time of need and I, I i've realized in fact the holy ghost told me this last night he said that most of the times my people don't ask the holy ghost to help them can i ask you one question have you ever asked the holy ghost to help me just say holy spirit say last say holy spirit help me have you ever found yourself in a tight corner in a very you know a, 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 a narrowed way where, where whatever circumstance that it is that you've tried to use the word of God to overcome you've tried to use prayer to overcome you've tried to use fasting to overcome but yet the situation still there I challenge you right now to try one thing just say Holy Spirit please help me <sighs> that one prayer would change everything forever I'm telling you, give God praise to that, sons of God. 